Okay guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how I do the Dominican spaghetti. Now, the first ingredient you will need is gonna be the oil, oregano, tomato paste, any kind of pasta. I'm using rigatoni today. You could use, book, um, the other, what is it called? Um, oh my goodness. Penne, regular spaghetti, whatever you want. A, can, a jar of spaghetti sauce, sofrito, some garlic, this is the Dominican salami, some green pepper, some bell pepper, cubanol pepper, and an envelope of seasoning. Okay, now all I'm gonna do is just cut each of these peppers in half. Actually take the, the seeds out. I always use this part too. Nothing should go to waste. Use as much of the peppers as you can. Get rid of the seeds. And the membrane, I believe is what it's called. Now the cubano. I cut it on this size. I don't cut them really thin. And like I said, I'm just gonna use half, so I'm cutting half of it, putting the other half to the side. That's all the red pepper that you'll need. Now onto the green pepper, doing the same thing. like that cut it in half put the other half to the side and just slice this into cubes basically that's what you want to do green pepper is done now to the cubanal cut it in half put that to the side Slice it and just cut it into cubes. And there you have the peppers. Now, of course, I went and washed this side, but now I'm going to use the other side for the salami. This is the salami. I'm only going to use half of it because a little bit goes a long way. Put it to the side. Just take the paper off, put it where my little garbage bowl is, and all I'm gonna do is cut it this thick in circles. And then again, cut in half, and then one, two. So it's basically gonna be this size. Now, like I said, my uh, husband is Dominican, so I was taught to make this pasta, you know, by my sister-in-law. Don't really do it like exactly like they do it, but my family loves it, my husband loves it, my kids love it, so I often do it for them. So that's half. That's what you'll get for half of the pasta. Little guy, Louie. Louie around excuse him he's got to be everywhere where i am okay next i'm going to prepare the sauce i'll use a frying pan or saucepan whatever you call it turn the stove on medium and i'm going to use a little bit of olive oil a little bit you don't need a lot wait till that heats up a little bit Okay, and now I'm just gonna take the vegetables, and of course I have to use it in my Ray Dunn mug. 
those of you that are subscribed know how much I love my radon. Just take a wooden spoon or whatever spoon you have. All you're basically doing is stir frying. Let that come to a simmer or whatever you call it. Okay, I'm gonna add the meat or the salami. And just let that cook. The salami's already cooked, all you're doing is heating it and I like to uh, crust it up a little bit. It just makes the pasta so much better. So, just continue to stir occasionally until that salami gets browned. Just continue to stir occasionally. Almost done browning up the salami. Like I said, you just continue to occasionally just turn it or stir it. Okay, almost done browning. Now the reason why you wanna brown it before you put the sauce in, because then it really won't brown once you put the tomato paste and the spaghetti sauce in. So that's why I like to have it nice and browned before I add any other ingredients beside the peppers. Okay, so now it's browned enough. I could lower this heat a little bit. Now we're gonna add some seasoning, an envelope of the saffron. Stirring occasionally. Every time you add an ingredient, just stir it. Add a little bit of oregano. I'd say a teaspoon is fine. Stir it. Now you're gonna add sofrito. This is the one my mom made, so it's super good. I like to add a lot, so I'd say there's like maybe three tablespoons in here. But you put what you want. Letting that cook in there. And now for the garlic. You wait, I usually wait till the end because you don't wanna burn the garlic. And I do love my garlic press. It saves me so much work. So I'm gonna use about four garlic cloves. Like I said, you guys can use what you want. I love garlic, so. Now is when you really wanna make sure that you stir it and do not let the garlic burn because you'll have a bitter taste. Now, tomato paste, two heaping tablespoons. Stir that in. You'll see how it starts to thicken a little bit. Now it's a thick sauce. I wish you guys had smell o vision Now I'm using the Prego 4 cheese. You can use whatever sauce you want. Add the whole jar. Mix it all in. Make sure everything is incorporated. Cover, let it come to a little boil. Okay guys, I can hear it coming to a boil or a little simmer. I'm gonna shut that down. That's done. 
And on to the next thing, which is gonna be boiling the pasta. Okay, now fill a pot with water. I filled this one up halfway, a little bit of olive oil. And salt, I always forget, and my hubby gets on me for that. So, hubby, if you're watching, look, I'm adding salt. Let it come to a boil. Okay, guys, so now it's boiling, and now I'm gonna add the rigatoni. Give it a good stir. And just let it cook. There's my little guy, always in my videos. Gotta love him. Okay, just gonna stir it even more. My husband doesn't like pasta al dente, so I have to fully cook this. So, just a little bit more. Okay, pasta's done. Now to drain it. Now we empty the pasta back in the pot. And now all we're gonna do is just empty out the sauce that we did before into the pot. And we just mix it. Now you could serve this over garlic bread or just even by itself. And there you have it, guys, the finished product, Dominican pasta. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 17.